Hey everyone, it's Mandy with two E's. Happy Friday! You've come to my show Simply Rent It, which is also the name of my company. I am your professional licensed rental consultant who has a deep passion for helping landlord investors save time, reduce risk, and gain knowledge without having to spend a ton of money hiring a full-time property manager. On this show, you'll learn all the tips and tricks you need for your investment property journey. Today, um, I just wanted to cover a topic that is still on everyone's minds, um, which is COVID-19 or the coronavirus and um, some things that you should be expecting to happen that may happen uh, and just, just be prepared uh, for the future <laughs> moving forward. So um, I'm talking today specifically to, um, I guess, landlord investors and tenants, um, but mainly landlord investors who is are managing your own properties and um, you've never had a problem collecting rent before um, but now all of a sudden you are are not going to be getting rent on time or at all um, this this next month for April and you may have heard from your tenant or you may not so I just wanted to go over a few things that maybe you could do to help ease the pain of this um, because if you are a landlord investor who has a mortgage, um, you know that you still have to make that payment regardless if the tenant makes the payment or not. And you may or may not have heard um, that the governor of Iowa has uh, delayed any evictions for certain reasons and um, I'll put in the show notes below um, some links and sites to look deeper into that information if you'd like. Um, but it's important for you to know um, that they are being delayed, but that you should still absolutely um, continue with the process of serving notices the proper way and um, documentation, document everything. But just to rewind a little bit, if the first comes around and you aren't getting your rent check and you haven't heard from your tenant, this is the perfect time to reach out. And try to be you know, as understanding as possible. Your tenants may have lost their job without any alternative. They may be asked to be um, staying in a self-quarantine for whatever reason for 14 days, and maybe they're not able to work from home. Uh, there are several different reasons of things that could happen. So um, the best thing that you could do in a situation like this is to communicate and to be as understanding as possible. and. Um, I think if you're reaching out and showing compassion, it will really go a long ways. Um, obviously, it should be on the tenant, I believe, to reach out to you and to discuss with you if they can't pay their rent or why they're going to be late or if there's something they can do to work out the situation. So with um, payments or a payment plan of some sort. So it's, it's time for you to sit down and think about if this were to happen to you, what type of what type of information would you request? Um, what type of payment plan would you be willing to accept? Um, and it needs to be one. You know that makes sense for both of you. So that way you're still able to keep on top of your bills and, and pay your bills as well. Um, there are several resources available in the community. Um, if you're not aware, they're available to um, tenants specifically. Uh, but also, if you have been laid off or lost your job and now you're having problems paying your mortgage and you're going to have to be worrying about paying the mortgage on your investment property, um, these resources could help you out as well. So um, I will, again, put a link in the notes below um, so you can have more information there. But um, the site that I'm specifically going to direct you to is um, United Way of Story and um, they have several links there of if you need assistance with food and if you need assistance for paying rent and um, assistance for finding out if you have symptoms for COVID-19 and where you could go in the community to get tested and just to be seen by a physician. And there are lots of information, informational links uh, included on just this one website. So. Um, United Way of Story County is one really great resource to direct your tenants to if they're in need of financial assistance to pay rent. Um, another one is the Emergency Residence Project. 
Uh, I also direct them to talk to their local church. Uh, if their church doesn't have a program, there are other churches around town that do talk to individuals um, and may be able to provide assistance. So if you're, if you're giving them directions to all of these different places um, and websites for assistance with financial aid and you're communicating with them, uh, they're going to think that that's pretty awesome that you're wanting to help them. And not only are you helping them, you're helping yourself out too because if they're able to get financial aid assistance, then you're able to also make your mortgage payment or collect rent and, and pay whatever bills that you need to um, that you may have open currently for your investment property. So um, those are just a couple tips and tricks. I guess not really tricks, but tips. <laughs> A couple tips for you to keep in mind, um, ideas, places to look for, for assistance in this time of need. Uh, I think it's important to remember that we are all in this together and to really communicate as much as possible with your tenants. Check in on them, ask them how they're doing health-wise and, you know, if they need anything. Um, <laughs> with the shortages and, and everything, uh, you may have a tenant that's literally without toilet paper and um, that may be one area that you're able to help with. So um, something small and simple to pass along uh, to make somebody's day. So anyway, I hope everyone's having a great Friday and I will see you again next week. Stay safe everyone. Bye-bye.